Hello. We have our little vehicle that's driven by two servos. And I added a little thing to the front just to get some of it up off the table. And I have added a infrared distance sensor to it. Plugged it into one of the three, three pin ports on that side. And what we're going to do now is explore some different parts of the code, of the control code. Um, I've changed this a little bit. So this is going to make the vehicle go forwards and the repeat is going to make it keep doing that. Um, before I had used a wait time, so it would run for five seconds. Now we're just going to have it run continuously. But I want to use that infrared sensor. And this is saying that when an object comes closer than 10, and I can change that um, to about tw 0 to 20, that's centimeters, um, across your palm from your thumb to the other side, you know, to the pinky side of your palm, is about 10 centimeters. So just think about it that way. Um, when that happens, when something comes within under 10 centimeters, I want to switch to the server going the same direction, which should turn this vehicle around. Um, now, the thing you have to play with a little bit is that now I'm going to use a wait time here, but how long do I need this to run for it to turn 180 degrees? That's going to be one of the things you got to play with. And then the other thing you have to add to your code is this restart. If you don't have a restart somewhere in here, uh, the code will stop. So let's hit play and see what we get. Put on forward, put my hand over it, and it turns around. So obviously one second was too much. Put my hand over it, it's gonna turn. Put my hand over it, it's gonna turn. Okay? So the concept works is that we make it turn, you just have to play with the um, time or the speed that you're turning. Those are two variables. Uh, pick one and play with it to make it turn how far you want to turn. Do you want to only turn 90 degrees? Just turn to the right or turn to the left. And yeah, then you want to turn right or turn left. So some things you can play with. Um, the other is that there's more than one way to make this thing happen. One of the hard parts with coding is making things happen when you want to. So you notice, my, you notice it didn't turn as soon as my hand went there. Well, that's because code has to run. So here's another way uh, that we can do it. Let's try this. I just put it all into an if statement. Get me connected again. I put the commands with an if statement. That's again another one of our control things. There's ifs and whiles and waits and repeats. So if the sensor, it's great that this is color coded because we can just come down. We know we got to find that so that block. Um, and I did lesson twenty this time. Um, I late left these the same. Um, if we get a sensor. To register then turn you know do for about a second otherwise we if we don't get that we're just going to keep moving and then restart so let's see how this one reacts all right so here we go trying to turn yep come on so again, one second might not be the best. Don't want to go off the table. So, things for you to decide on whether it's working or not. I'm trying to chase it and chase this. Stop it. So, do you like the if way of doing it? Or you like the repeat and then the other chunk. So always things to play with. And all I did was take something I had built before. 
um, the little two servo vehicle propped it up a little bit to get some of it off the ground and then added the infrared sensor enjoy